Hi everyone, Soros Gaming here and welcome to Skills Guide. Now this video will be introduction to skills, this skills list, so the full list of skills explained and tips on skills. So just some useful tips and information about skills. Now skills are one of the most important things in the game. They can be used to build several different variants of builds like pets, heavenly strike, shadow clone. Now we'll put a link in the description above this video for introduction to those builds. This is more a general overview of what skills actually are. Now to begin, the classes, the skill tree has four primary classes. Knight, which does tap and pet damage. Warlord, which is hero and clan ship damage. Sorcerer, which is mana recovery and shadow clone skill. And Rogue, which is inactive damage and progression. Skills have to be unlocked in order from top to bottom and also require a certain amount of skill points needed in the previous skill to continue on. The skill tree gives various effects to your pets, heroes, skills and character. A skill point is awarded every 50 levels, starting from 50 as the first time bonus for reaching that level. At level 50, 550 and every 500 levels thereafter, for example 1050, 15,050, 2050, you receive one skill point immediately but for the rest, you have to prestige to receive them once you reached a stage that has multiples of 50. Like equipment, you can only get a skill point for the first time you reach that stage. There are several ways to obtain skill points, which are as a tournament reward, from week two of weekly rewards, from going past your max stage and reaching benchmark levels, from titan chest in the shop, and sometimes as part of a pack or bundle deal that can be brought at, from the shop. Now the night tree, these are the night tree skills. So you have Knights of Valor, Shivrick Order, Pet Evolution, Heart of Medas, Cleave and Strike, Summon Inferno, Lightning Burst, Barbaric Fury, and Flash Ship. Now I'll go through a bit more detail of what these actually skills are. So Knight of Valor is based on tap damage. So you hone your skills of Swordmaster by strengthening your tapping power with the teachings of the old guards. Now this gives you tap damage directly increases all damage by Swordmaster attacks and all forms of pet attacks and heavenly strikes. Tap damage provides a reduced bonus to shadow clone attacks. Then we have pet evolution. This is a pet damage multiplier but it also reduces the taps per attack to activate the more that you level it. The strong bond between your, you and your pet encourages it to protect you with more ferocious attacks. Now pet damage improves all pet attacks including lightning burst and flash zip. Requires taps per attack reduces the number of taps per bonus per attack from 20 by the listed amount. Shivrick order. This is your percentages tap damage from heroes. The heroes you hire lend their strength to increase your sword wielding powers, converting a portion of their hero damage into tap damage. Converts a reduced amount of hero damage into tap damage. Weapon sets are, and based hero upgrades are applied at the full rate, but only a portion of all hero and class hero bonuses are converted. Your tap damage bonus directly multiplies with tap damage from heroes. This skill improves all damage sources that are improved by increasing tap damage. Now you've got Heart of Medas. This is your boss gold multiplier. King Medas is giving your pets the power to generate gold. When your pet is glowing, tap on it to earn additional gold. Heart of Medas gold gives you a multiple of boss gold dropped from your current stage. The strength of Heart of Medas increases as you continue to reach higher level stages. Heart of Medas reduces a partial bonus for Hand of Medas active skill. Now the Cleveland Strike is a multiplier of your maximum critical damage and also increases the critical chance percentage. A heavy attack that can do incredible damage when it lands at the cost of reduced accuracy to score a critical hit. Maximum critical damage directly improves all sword master critical hits and gives an average increase to pet, clan, ship and shadow clone attacks. Shadow clone attacks suffer damage penalty when your critical chance is low. Then you have Summon Inferno, which is a multiplier of your fire sword damage and increases your fire sword du duration. If it, the God of Fire summons a fiery inferno to aid you in battle, directly increases your sword master attack damage and heavy strikes. 
gives a reduced bonus to shadow claim damage. Then you have your lightning burst. This is your pet damage per burst multiplier and also increases the lightning burst splash count. Your pet learns a new ability to take down hundreds of titans in one blow, charging up to destroy enemies with a massive amount of power. Charges and delivers a powerful burst attack that can be used against normal titans and bosses. When successfully defeating an enemy, the leftover splash damage can splash through bosses. Pet splash skip is increased by a factor of two with determining splash kills from this skill. Then you have Barbaric Fury. This is a multiplier for your active tap damage and gives a bonus taps per second. Enraged by overwhelming number of titans, the Swordmaster uncovers the ability to channel energy into furious swings. Adds bonus attacks per second and tap damage while actively tapping. Bonus taps per second count towards generating additional pet attacks and Hand of Medas tap gold. When Mana Siphon and Lightning Strike unlock, bonus taps per second will help activate these skills as well. A flash zip. This is a multiplier for your charge pet damage and times pet skill cooldown. During a boss battle, your pet soars into the sky to deal lightning burst damage on the final blow. Afterwards, your pet becomes charged and deals bonus damage for 30 seconds. The final tap of each flash zip sequence deals lightning burst damage. However, this attack does not smash through bosses. After this skill is unlocked, your pet will become terribly charged after each lightning burst or flash zip. Pet skills have their cooldown reduced by this skill are Heart of Das, Lightning Burst and the Flash Zip. Now this is your Warlord Tree, which is your Master Commander, your Spools of War, your Heroic Might, your Aerial Assault, your Tactical Insight, your Searing Light, Coordinated Defense, Astral Awakening and Anchoring Shot. Now for Master Commander, this is your all hero damage multiplier. Show your heroes the way of the champion by leading them into battle. Increases their damage output. Dreadly increases hero damage, clanship damage and summon clanmate damage. Also increases tap damage and all dependent damage sources by reduced amounts when tap damage from heroes is unlocked. Then you have your Spores of War, which is your chest and gold multiplier. Also increases your chest and chance. Your triumphs have been rewarded with the treasures of your fallen enemies. Increases your chest and gold bonus increases gold drop from fairy chest splash over kills and inactive gold earned potentially increases perk gold from make it rain and clan crates heroic might this is your war cry damage multiplier and also inspired hero count increase by the morale of your heroes allowing each inspired hero to deal maximum damage while war cry is active inspired heroes deal a multiple of your total hero dps with the base war cry bonus the mount and percentage of damage dealt by inspired heroes can be seen in the hero scroll list tab. Then you have the aerial assault, which is your clan ship damage multiplier, and also your plus clan ship splash count. Your clan ship rains down explosive shells over hordes of unsuspecting titans, unlocking the potential for ship attacks to splash through bosses. Clan ship damage increases damage dealt by both your clan ship and summon clan mates. Also increases the maximum splash count, only applies to attacks made by your clan ship. You have your tactical insight, which is a percentage increase to hero skills, which is your multiplier active, and also the percentage increase of your hero skills addictive. Your heroes have gained a deep understanding of how maximizing their abilities in order to defeat the titans, increasing the strength of your unlockable hero skills. There are two different types of unlockable hero skills: multiple active and addictive. Multiple active skills are bonuses in a form of X times bonus, such as all types of damage and gold amount hero skills, while addictive skills are bonuses formed by plus bonuses such as all chance and mana related hero skills then you have your searing knight which your is your percentage increase inspired damage amplify and also increases the duration of war cry inspired heroes gain the ability to weaken titans each successful inspired hero attacks against a titan increases the damage that titan receives from the hero based sources each projectile from an inspired hero weakens enemies causing the current titan to take more damage from hero based sources the weakening effect favors heroes and clan ship damage types making it less effective for non-hero based damage the weakening effect resets with each do titan spawn or when war cry expires coordinated defense this is multiplied for active or hero damage when your clan mate's silhouette shows tap on it to cover fire when summoning a clan mate into battle your clan mate helps you lead your heroes and increases all hero damage when active initiating the ability causes your clan ship to fire bonus attack when your clan mate is summoned into battle
battle. Bonus clan ship attack receives a boost to special skip by a factor of two. Your clan mate's damage directly depends on the strength of your clan ship damage. And you have your astral awakening. This is your multiplier of all hero damage per tap. The heroes have mastered a secret technique which allows them to summon an incredible amount of power from the heavens for a short period of time. The astral orb can be tapped up to five times per sequence which each tap independently multiplies your all hero damage bonuses for 40 seconds. Finishing the sequence quickly gives you the strongest possible all hero damage increase from this skill. The next cooldown begins as soon as each sequence is completed anchoring shot this is your times stun damage and stun duration bonus charges clan ship attacks with electrical energy causing affected titans to become paralyzed for a brief period of time stun titans take additional damage per attack other than lightning strike and doom all damage sources are increased by stun damage bonus when made against stunned titans boss countdown timers are temporarily frozen while boss titans is stunned now you have your sorcerer tree this is for limit break medas ultimate angelic radiance phantom vengeance fairy charm mana siphon eternal darkness mani mana lightning strike and dimensional shift medas ultimate is your multiplier for your hands for Madas Gold and multiplier for Fairy Gold. Madas blesses you with all his might, increases your ability to earn bonuses gold from Titans and Fairies alike, drops additional gold each time a hand of Madas is activated. The Fairy Gold multiplier acts as an additional bonus on top of the hands of Madas effect from Fairy Gold drops. Limit Break. This is your mana capacity increase and also increase your mana regeneration. The magical world resonates within you, increasing your maximum mana capacity and base mana regeneration rate. Allows you to store more mana while inactive and also increases the effectiveness of mana siphon. Angelic Radiance. This is a multiplier for your heavenly strike damage. Drawing energy from your surroundings, an angelic force spits the earth and sky to deal destructive damage that splashes through oncoming bosses. Angelic Radiance must be unlocked in order for heavenly strike to have a potential to splash through bosses phantom vengeance this is your shadow clone damage multiplier now it also increases the shadow clone attacks per second with greater vigor your shadow clone seeks out titans to demolish slashing through them with faster and stronger attacks increases your shadow clone attack damage and attack rate the attack rate increase does not improve your shadow clone's ability to use mana siphon or case lightning strikes when those skills are unlocked and active bonus shadow clan damage dealt to stun titans is only temporary fairy charm this increases the multiple fairy chance and also reduces the fairy spawn cooldown entice a deal with the fairies increasing chance for multiple fairies to appear instead of just one after an initial fairy spawns you have a chance to spawn an additional fairy as given by your multiple fairy chance for each successful merry spawn your multiple fairy chance is halved and used again to attempt to spawn an additional fairy this spawning process continues until either until either a multiple fairy spawn roll fails or when seven additional fairies have been spawned. Mana Siphon. This increases your percentage of mana per tap. Your sword is imbued with the ability to steal mana from titans, speeding up your mana recovery in battle. You have a plus percentage chance to trigger Mana Siphon with each sword master attacks or shadow clone special attempt. Each successful Mana Siphon roll will restore a percentage of your maximum mana capacity by the specified amount. Increases to your maximum mana capacity will also increase the mana gain from successful mana siphon roll internal darkness this increases your shadow clone duration your shadow clone awakens from the dark sunken place and declares complete loyalty binding into your presence your shadow clone damage always depends on your strongest value or relevant bonuses while active if your damage bonuses decrease while shadow clone is active its damage will not decrease if your damage bonus increases while shadow clone is active its damage will increase accordingly many mana which gives you a mana replenishment enlightened by an old legend you ask the mythical deity Free mana's permission to challenge a titan with, with restorative magic. Earn the specified amount of mana each time many mana is defeated. Many mana spawns take priority over chest and spawns. Lightning strike gives a percentage of titan health reduction and also percentage for lightning damage efficiency. Harness the power of Zeus. Unleash a powerful bolt of lightning onto your titans strong enough to weaken the strongest of foes. You have a percentage increased chance to trigger lightning strike with each sword master attack or shadow clone special attempt 
lightning strike can only trigger with one of your six active skills are activated. Weakens titans with reducing a portion of their remaining hit points with each strike. This ability cannot directly kill a titan and does not receive damage bonus from perks or when used against stunned titans. Each additional strike per titan does reduced damage as per the damage efficiency value. Dimensional shift. This is multiplier to your primary active skill effects and auto multiplier for your active skill duration. Your shadow clone has gained the ability to warp time and space, increasing your active skill effectiveness and slowing down the rate of active skill timers. Dimensional shift effects only applies when shadow clone is activated. Increases the primary effect of all active skill, including the strength or shadow clone itself. Increases duration of active skill, this duration boost is lost when Shadow Clone ends. Rogue Tree. This is with Master Thief, Assassinate, Silent March, Ambush, Twilight's Veil, Ghost Ship, and Shadow Assassin. Now, Assassinate is a Deadly Strike damage multiplier and also increases the duration of Deadly Strike. By embracing your role as a stealthy assassin, you are able to deliver Deadly Strike with greater accuracy and effectiveness. Directly increases your Swordmaster attack damage when a successful Deadly Strike attack is made. Deadly Strike does not affect Heavenly Strike. This skill does not affect inactive play. Then you have your Master Thief. This is your all damage multiplier and also your multiplier for inactive gold learn the ways of master pickpocket and garner more gold without having to move much increases gold earned from all gold sources and additional bonus is given to inactive gold earned during inactive play silent march times inactive damage Unlocks inactive stage advancement up to 99% of your max prestige stage. Your ability to inactively advance stage is limited by inactive DPS. In tournaments, you may only inactively advance up to the highest submitted stage for each respective tournament. Ambush. This is your max multi-spawn count increase and a percentage increase for your multiple spawn chance. Sneak up and catch groups of titans off guard to clear out stages quicker as well earn additional gold and mana from titans. Multi-spawn counts as bonus skills for that stage but does not allow you to skip bosses. Each multiple spawn increases the gold drop of that titan by X amount percentage, including bonus gold earned by hands of Medas. When the mana mana spawns, each additional multi spawn increases the mana drop rate of mana mana by X amount percentage. Multiple spawns can trigger during inactive play, which increases the inactive gold earned and can potentially reduce the average number of non boss titans per stage. Twilight's Veil increases your percentages of inactive pet damage and times pet deadly strike damage. Moving through darkness of night, your pet gains the ability to strike titans with deadly efficiency. Includes pet damage in your inactive DPS total, allows your pet to score deadly deadly critical hits while deadly strike is active. Bonus damage received from deadly strike is reduced from the amount listed in the skills description. Lightning burst and flash ship attacks receive a reduced average bonus from deadly strike. Ghost ship which is your percentage increase in active clan ship damage and your multiple times clan deadly strike damage. Your clan ship takes on a haunting form in your absence striking fear and terror into your enemies. Includes clan ship damage in your inactive DPS total allows your clan ship to score deadly critical hits while deadly strike is active. The bonus damage received from deadly strike is reduced from the amount listed in the skills description. Shadow Assassins. This is increase your inactive clone damage and also your multiplier clone deadly strike damage. Your shadow clone now reflects your full range of abilities, allowing it to utilize deadly strike to score an incredible amount of damage. Includes shadow clone damage in your inactive DPS total. Shadow clone does not need to be active in order to factor in the inactive DPS before going idle. It allows your shadow clone to score deadly critical hits while deadly strike is active. And bonus damage received from deadly strike is reduced from the amount listed in the skills description. Now some tips on skills, so just some useful you know, tips and information on skill points. The skill points is one of the most, tool, most important tools in the game. It's important to use them wisely. Now if you're not sure how to use them, there are optimizers out there to help you work out the best builds of the use of these skill points. As I mentioned, there is a link up there to all the active 
skill builds that are available there is a playlist for all the skill builds so click on that link if you want to watch all those videos i've also put a link to the tap titans compendium which they have links to optimizers in there so several optimizers you can use and i'll put a link to that in the description below now some tips don't spend for the sake of spending if you're following a guide or using the optimizer be patient and save up for your skill points till you have enough to unlock the next skill shown on your guide try to spend your skill points during a tournament only this will help gain a better positioning and hopefully give you better rewards in a tournament try to always join skill point tournaments apart from gaining stages Joining tournaments is the second top way of gaining most skill points in a shortened amount of time. Couldn't collect your skill points or there's an error collecting them, try contacting support from your options menu. Now, I hope this has been helpful. I hope this explains what skill points are and skill uses a bit more in depth. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And just a reminder, I leave Tap Titan videos every Tuesday. I also cover Cyber Hunter every Thursday. And you also you can catch me on Twitch every Sunday at 9pm. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day and see you all soon. Take care. Bye.